Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good whatever time of day it is for you. Good day. Welcome to today's D&D stream. We're finally back out of the, of the abyss. And uh, we got a new layout here. So I'm going to introduce everybody in a clockwise fashion, starting off with Cranky Pants in the upper left. Sorry, officer. I don't know what those watch stands are. And uh, Cranky, you're playing <laughs> Crunk, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. Going on, playing as Rosalind, we have Caramel Cactus. Hi, everybody. At Caramel Cactus at Twitter, if you want to follow her. Yay! Continuing on, um, Mystic Ren is playing Fayolan, but she's going to be a little late today. Next is Sorelia playing Aurelia. Hey. And then we have Little Tree playing as Adion. Sup, fuckers. Thanks, <laughs> Rich. Shut up. <laughs> I just spaced out. I did not mean to. She is also playing <laughs> Minecraft while we're doing this as well. And uh, next is, of course, myself, the Dungeon Master, Cocolito. And yeah. finally, last but not least, Star King playing Khan. Um, dead air. Hi. What? <laughs> he makes money. Yes, oh. I do make money. Well, w w welcome to the stream, Khan. <laughs> okay. Oh, and thank you for the lemon earlier. And uh, Carol, the background, like I completely forgot to get back with you on trying to get an image or a logo back there for us. I don't oh, know if don't you're worry. looking at the stream right now. I am, but I didn't think about it. Oh, I can't talk today. I haven't started it yet, obviously, but I have been thinking about it. Yeah, I know you're too busy coming up with big trouble in little China references. <laughs> they come, come on, you had to do that. Was funny. <laughs> <laughs> they hit him with a cart, Russell Gray. It's the only way to make him look good. All right. Oh, and uh, Cranky Pants. Um, you know, I completely forgot. I'm still using your old image here, like yeah. from way back. I'm not using your Crunk image. Let's see. I think I got the original Crunk image. Let me see if I can find that. So, we get this. And I'm wondering if I should I get my own Dungeon Master image as opposed to just using my logo. Yes. Can I, can I, can I, make, can I, I just make want you to an say. Evil one? And uh, everybody's yeah, talking at the same time here. I'll stop. So oh, okay, well, now that everything's quiet, so camera will say something. <laughs> if I make you an evil-looking one, would you use it? Why would I be evil-looking? Because you're a dungeon master. Because you're a dick. Why, why don't you just draw him as a god? Like, with well, the flowing beard and everything. I'm okay with that. Um, you, you, you I have a completely separate idea, guys. You, you, um, you we just... order the official dungeon master costume, and he puts his face cam on. <laughs> <laughs> I support this. I did consider doing the the face cam, but if I did do the face cam, I want everybody to do a face cam and have a camera on each of those spots, but I don't know how to like separate your cameras to put it to position it like that. Well, that's for smarter people to figure out cuz I'm a dummy. Okay, okay, we got the crunk picture up there now. All right, cranky, you're complete. Crazy. Yeah. Either. I think he said praise him again. Okay. Praise him. Such cringe. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm famous for, and you know it. Okay, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five. We're just missing range. So, it's been a while since we've played. So I'll go ahead and do the recap for you guys. Feel free to uh, add in anything that I might have missed. So, last time we left off, um, you guys were traveling the Silken Paths. Uh, which is a big spiderweb network over this giant chasm. You're trying to get past it carefully, and you met with uh, Spiderbait and Dum Dum, two goblins who surfed uh, the Silken Paths. They're, they decided to join you guys, mainly out of curiosity, and they thought you guys were kind of cool, might be fun for a while, until you ran into a small group of dark elves with uh, Quidoff slaves, or Quaggif slaves them. The prince, Prince Dorendo, was able to convince the Quaggif to rebel against their Dark Elf masters. So the fight was pretty much uh, sealed. Except one of the Dark Elves decided to just kamikaze it and burn the webs and drop everybody. God, what a dick. So you all fell into the deep, dark abyss beneath you. But you all got teleported to the magical wonderland of uh, Xmas. I honestly forgot the name of the land we had. 
So, and then, then we had our little Christmas episode where you guys each got a special special set of items for saving Xmas. Do you remember the items you guys got? Mm-hmm. Yes. I think I wrote a, a cape of billowing and some really sweet um, weapon. You, know, you got a special loot. I'm looking at my... Which has a whole bunch of spells attached to it. I think I still I... need to get with you. Yeah, the Mac Fieren, Whatever. It's some fucking weird-ass name. But yeah. I do need to actually talk to you about the spells. Shit, I forgot to do that. Okay. Sorry, derailing. Um, the spells, you could cast those each one time a day. And you could use the loot as a magical focus. When you, well, when you cast the spells, you actually got to you know, be playing the loot in order to cast those spells. I will talk to you off stream about those spells so we don't uh, delay everybody. Please continue. Sorry. And uh, Starking, do you remember what you got? Yeah, I got a lightning javelin, but I need to talk to you about the damage and dice stuff about that. So. Um, there, there, do you also get, like, I got everybody at least two items. So what's the second item I gave you? Uh... I only got one item. No, I know I gave you two. Oh. Hold on, give me a second. I know I have it. I know I read it down somewhere. Uh... Um, was a it horn. a horn? Horn. Uh, it was a horn. It's a horn. I just need to get the details from it later. Uh, I think I told you what that horn does, didn't I? Uh, uh no we it was I get I think there was a, a big description of it so we just left it off at getting it later but okay well I mean if you guys are gonna be using these magic items like uh, today it'll be a good idea you guys know how to use it so while I look up the horn Caramel what questions did you have about the loot um I know what the cloak of billowing does it's more cosmetic than anything but the loot just which spells are attached to it and I can take care of the rest um I I I DM'd you to lots of spells. Did you? Fuck. Okay, yeah. I should have written it down. There. Okay, never mind. Ignore me. Caramel said the fuck word. I I mean, um, fudge. Oh, please, Caramel. I've, I've heard you talk. <laughs> Come on. I just sound like a sailor. just sound like the sailor, <laughs> y'all. You, you make sailors <laughs> blush. Mm -hmm. Hey. God, I'm so when? sad that I missed out on Sea of Thieves. I wish I knew earlier. Well, okay, my, here well, my PC I crashed got... twice. And I, I ended the stream early. How many times did uh, Lenny attack you guys? None. So, but his girlfriend wasn't there, of course he wouldn't. Um, are you guys doing that again next weekend? Uh, it depends if I could get my PC to stop crashing every time I stream a game. Weak. Well, now get wrecked. Uh, what's, the, what's the name <laughs> of the horn, horn uh, Star King? Uh, actually, I don't know. I was... I, for some reason, I just wrote horn and it's that. I thought I wrote the whole name down. Hold on. And I got the spells, Coco. Thank you so much. I found them. Okay. God damn it. Uh, That's why we see. have an inventory tab. Right. Uh, see, I, I hope we're all learning a lesson here. Write down everything. <laughs> or have I wrote down my stuff look. down, Coco. Oh, well, look at you. I must have been freaking right, like, out of it when you gave it to me. See, you're stuff. just a teacher spot. All right, Tree, what items did I give you? You gave me the furry gray bag. It's got little balls in it. <laughs> and? <laughs> and a, a quarter staff that when I hold it, it turns into a sword that I actually know how to use. And what is the staff called? Ah, oh, fuck. I have it in my notes. I was playing Minecraft. Hold on. <laughs> Put down the box and play D&D. &D. Come on. I have kids. <laughs> I have an hour clicker on. I'm mining. See, this is like the equivalent of like being at the table and somebody's always looking at their phone. Yeah, or when people just keep looking at their phone during a movie and then wonder what's going on. I hate that shit. Yeah. Or you're just having oh, dinner with somebody oh. and like instead of eating, they're just looking at their phone while you're trying to have a conversation. Damn millennials. Actually, I can't even see that. It's like damn. I'm not a millennial. I'm Gen Z. Uh, they're even worse. I know adults who do that. For God's sakes. I just wanted to say, it's mostly boomers that do that. I, he's not wrong. Like, I cannot have... Uh, I like... only ever see people younger than me and older than me do it. Just never me. <laughs> if 
Fuck you, Coco. <laughs> so, everyone listening into the stream, we hope you're having a good time with our, um, <laughs> whatever the fuck we're doing. <laughs> oh, it's, it's still better than the last time. Last oh. time around this time we were talking about hyena penises and such. What? <laughs> Oh, how sometimes they like. Yeah, no, I don't. I didn't write down what it was. I just wrote down what it did. <sighs> so, can we go back in time and take away that smarm from you, young person? Nah. Okay, okay he's talking. Least... I think it was yeah. the, the horn of whispers. It sounds like the oxymoron of the century. <laughs> the horn of whispers. <laughs> you blow it on it very mighty. <laughs> you over there. <laughs> <laughs> You're not oh, no. wrong, <laughs> Cranky. You are not wrong. This, is this the equivalent of the, like the tiny violin? No, the Horn of Whispers. Okay, and I know I I, I uh I sent you the information on this, Star King. So try to type it down, paraphrase if you want. Usable right. three times a day. Um, let's see. It's you can send a short message, twenty words or less, to a named recipient within three miles huh. so I, you I, blow the, the horn, horn. yeah you blow the horn actually you, you blow the horn you send a message to somebody that can hear it within three miles but only that person hears it it's called uh, the horn of silent alarm if I oh. knew I wrote it somewhere I'm silent like wait alarm. Okay, wait, maybe I give somebody else a horn of whispers. No, I got the silent, silent alarm. Okay, uh, horn of silent alarm. Okay, this one has four charges per day. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I knew I wrote it. I knew I saved it somewhere, and I'm like, where the hell did I just found it? Okay, uh, let's see. When you use an action to blow it, one creature of your choice can hear the horn blare, provided the yeah. creature is within 600 feet of the horn and in, not in deafened. Then other no other creatures hear, hear sounds coming from the horn. The horn regains one d4 damage. Exchange, uh, Charges. All right. So, yeah. So I need to plug this stuff into the uh, D and D stuff. Okay. Yeah. Hey, so, well, I put it under weapons, right? For the horn silent. Uh, you can put it in your inventory, or like okay. wherever is more convenient for you to write down all that stuff. I can just copy paste it. And I, I I basically. Just... Yeah. So like one person, you blow the horn, and one person you're like. Do -do -do. Do -do. Some people hear a thing and some people hear it just. <laughs> right. <laughs> What's that? The giant dwarf is coming? Okay. And, and, and Tree, your, your quarter staff, you gotta tap it on the ground and then it becomes a, the, the silver longsword. And you can use it as a magical focus. Yeah, but what's its name? Okay. I'm gonna have to bring up these. It? I'm gonna need to bring up these notes. There's a name for it. Let's see. Where's uh, I might. Oh, I cannot name it in my deck like I do in Minecraft. No. Uh, Close down the blocks. Come on. You know, I think I might have deleted that notepad. <laughs> well, we were already done with the Christmas episode, so I didn't need it anymore. You have a unfortunate history with notepads, Coco. Yeah, I do. That's why I'm now using a world anvil for my campaign. To be honest, Note can you also have like problems with like notes no, you leave on the PC? No fucking question. I'm terrible at it. I I 100% a hypocrite when I make fun of other people with that. Uh, yeah, I can't I can't find the uh, I deleted it, which is why you know write these things down because I'm not going to keep it. <laughs> I did. Good, good job, Frankie. Oh, now who's the teacher's pet? Well, seeing that it's clearly that I'm the only one that wrote it down immediately the first time. <laughs> Sorry, I can't hear you over the phlegm in your accent. I thought we said no more racism. All right. Um, in so... regards to the things I got, I got an anti-PTSD potion. Which I used to uh, remove the effect of having to roll uh, dice for fear every time I got hit below half HP. And I got gloves of thievery, making, uh, giving me a bonus to slide, and ha slide of hands and lock picking. Yeah. And, and you did get a brand new set of lock picking tools. Because, yeah. I, because I recall your previous ones broke. No, that was my thief's tools. The, well, thief tools and lock picking tools is the same thing. 
Theft. Racism against tools? I and I got uh, the deck of illusions with 31 cards. And if I, I need to draw the cards at random, you send me the list of them. Right, the cards. Now, uh, did, we, did we decide how we're going to do that? Like, Because I actually have a deck of cards over here. And you're just going to have to believe me when, when I draw the cards. I do. Okay. Also, I got the charlatan's uh, dice. The six sided dice, I can decide what number comes up. Yes, um, Those are the see. two things you gave me. Yeah, the cards, the deck of cards I got is a red deck redemption deck. I would show it, but I'm not turning on my camera. By the way, Coco, just so you know, the stream currently is just on a black, uh, green screen. Yes, um, I don't have the. Well, I didn't want to turn it on until we actually went into the game. Right now, we're just doing the recap. Oh, fair enough. And and I, I, I set it up this way so like if we're if we're doing anything that's not related to what I'm showing on Roll20, I could just turn it off. And once Caramel does that logo for me, we'll have the logo for, you know, the our d d streams up there. Hey. Also, apparently, uh, I just noticed Dear Life has slightly changed his interface so that the viewers are now on the bottom. Yeah, I hate it. Well, you're, you're well, a gen Are you looking at this on your phone? Everything. No. No. The viewers are in the. Oh, you mean the. Okay, yeah. Um, they've been updating D Life a lot lately. So. I don't know. It's, it's just a slight adjustment. Okay, so. Let's begin. You all saved Xmas. And uh, Hermes sends you back to the Underdark. Although you were trying to convince Hermes to not send you back right away because, well, you're all falling to your deaths. Right, sorry, right now I'm like kind of filling with this deck in case Cranky just suddenly uses this deck of many things. Is it? Well, in case you use your deck of many things, I want to have this card deck ready. So I'm just shuffling. Ah, okay. So, you all fade back. And normally I would have each person go into their own voice chat while I do this, but um, I'm not going to do it this time. So we all get to hear everybody's situation. And I'm going to trust you guys to not metagame. Okay? Uh -huh. So, sure. starting from left to right, from what I see on my roll 20. Let me bring up my notepad notes, which I'm probably going to delete after this. I really shouldn't. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Aurelia. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You you like everything's dark, but you realize that it's just because your eyes are closed, and you begin to hear music. You hear like people chatting, having fun. It sounds like the typical like tavern, like happy scene. You know, everybody's just partying, drinking. You can smell the meat. You can smell cooked food. And when you open your eyes, you see you're back at the, the Marble Rose Guild Hall. Just so you, to help you remember, because I know we made this character in haste, your character is part of the Marble Rose Guild. And they're the ones that commissioned you and your party, which, as far as you know, is all dead, to enter the Underdark for a special secret mission. Yeah. So while you so look around, like, you, you see, in fact, you see the... Some of the party members that you left with are here. Um, they're not really paying you much mind. They're just kind of doing their own thing. Eating, drinking, being merry. And suddenly you hear a, a booming voice call out to you. The, Aurelia, I see you're back already. When you turn your head, you see a, a, a human male. He has, uh, like, the size of his head is, like, kind of, like, crop shaved, but he has a uh, long hair on top, tied up back in the ponytail, and he has a very big uh, Zweihander equipped on his back. You recognize oh, his dear. character as Kragmar. Kragmar! <gasps> yes! Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> the legend lives. <laughs> oh, really? I see you're back from your adventures. How fares it, young lady? Well, 
my pa uh, teammates are dead and we encountered the goddamn um, demigorgon. Uh, somehow I got lost and ended up here. Speak up, young one, and let the entire like guild hall hear you. And then Cragmore just kind of gets up on the table. <laughs> <laughs> and like, and he kind of like pulls you up, and and he's like, everyone, listen to the great tales of Aurelia, the one that slayed the the Gorgon Queen by stealing its heart, the one who decapitated the dragon with a single toothpick. Aurelia, sing your tales to us. I have no clue what you're talking about. Just go with the fame. Come on, do it. Oh, wait. Should I play some music to uh, get us all in the right mood since we're in the guild hall? No. I I'm already in the mood. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Aurelia, give me a perception check. It will give you background noise. <laughs> We don't need that. We don't need that, guys. No. Mumble. Mumble. <laughs> Wherever I'm playing. Uh, no, no, but Mumble. but this is Aurelia's event, okay? Exactly. Where we're playing background. And I'm saying no. Immersion. Immersion oh. <sighs> stat. So. We'll have to do risky. Um. Okay. Eleven. Um. Oh really? Like seeing, like you notice that uh, you and your party have not yet left for the Underdark. Can I make an investigation to see if I notice anything wrong with this? Oh, uh, go ahead. Give me an investigation check. Um. Evident feels like a uh, hmm. It looks real, like you could you could smell everything. You could like you could taste the alcohol in the air. Uh, you could feel the wood on the table, but you feel kind of disconnected from it all. Interesting. Yeah, and, and Cragmore just keeps uh, like like nudging you, He's like. Go ahead, Aurelia, tell us your epic grand tales. <laughs> tell us how you seduced a goblin king and betrayed him and led the goblin army against the gnolls. Tell us. Leave us now. I will attempt to actually sneak away. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, time uh, go ahead and give me a stealth check. Did they hear the time Aurelia stole that man's sword right from under his gaze? I heard Ooh. he failed. <laughs> to live after meeting Aurelia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Aurelia. When you try to sneak away, like you... <laughs> like Cragmar, he, he begins to sing another uh, Disney-ish song with different lyrics all over again. Talking about his own greatness, even though he's trying to talk about your greatness. Um... Yeah, and you jump off the table, but when you land on the floor, you're no longer in the guild hall. You're now in this very dark hallway. You look at your hands, and and they seem like much smaller. When you look at the window, you can see your reflection, and you're a child. Oh, God. Down at the end of the hallway, you see something moving in the shadows. Something very dangerous. It's chasing you. Um, I will try to run away. Go ahead and give me an athletics check. To see how fast you can move. And follow that up with a perception check. Ooh, very nice. Okay. Okay, you dart in the opposite direction. You are just grabbing whatever, like, uh, small furniture items you can like chairs and knock it down to try to block your, um, the path of whoever's chasing you you can hear their footsteps just getting closer and closer like very rapidly but you can't really tell how close they are you round the corner like into another hallway and you're back in the guild hall 
but something is off about this guild hall this time. Many of the people, and no, that's the wrong one. I was, almost played a Godzilla theme song. <laughs> no, I, 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 no. And it's set to us not to break immersion. No, no, that, that would have definitely got us a copyright strike. I might have gone to prison for that. <laughs> um, the music is back. But now, like, like parts of the wall on the guild hall is uh, broken, a little bit decayed. Many of the guild members appear to be deformed, like if they were hacked up. But they are still moving around and acting as if nothing bad has occurred. Even Kragmar's face is bloodied as he's trying to sing of the tales of Aurelia. I, I walk closer to the wall trying to inspect it to see if I can identify what have happened. Give me an investigation check. Um, you can tell that there, um, looking at the wall, looking at the way it's bashed up, you look at the other walls and other furniture, and you can tell that there was a battle here, but this doesn't seem like it was done by any kind of regular weapon that, that uh, broke up this wall. In fact, when you look at your other guildmates, the wounds on them doesn't really seem to be caused by any natural weapon. Well, maybe not natural weapon is the right word. Any kind of bladed weapon. Um, I will attempt to... Can I um, try to see if there's anything, uh, any potions or anything of use that could be uh, good to have on me? Uh, you, you're checking your own inventory? Is, is that what you're doing? Or are you just looking around the room for stuff? I'm looking around the room for stuff to see what the what items are on the floor, tables, and such. Okay, give me a high or low? Low. Okay. Um, you're able to find, like, what kind of magical items are you looking for? Like, healing items or other kind of things? Uh, some kind of uh, detection items, if possible. Or like things to detect magical stuff. Okay, yeah. Well, finally, like, um, you are able to find uh, one of your guildmates, uh, the, the wizard that you left off with. I forget her name. We actually found her body earlier. I don't know if you guys recall. Uh, let's see. I think it was in the No Cave. No, the Hook Horror Lair. Oh, that is a very long time. Oh, yeah, the two adventurers. Yeah, the two adventurers. Sorry. They were actually part of uh, Aurelia's original group. Let's I'm see. I'm not happy that you finally got a spellbook. Let's see. Uh, oh, two beads. Close it. Okay, I don't think I actually have the names written down here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, so. Um, you notice that uh, her hand, which is... Uh, severed from her body is laying on the ground next to you and there's a ring on it and you know that you could use this ring to detect magical like it, det it detects magic it has charges for that do you plan on taking I'm, the ring? I take the ring okay are you going to use a charge to detect magic? Yes, I intend to check and see if there's any kind of magic in the area that uh, okay. might disrupt my senses of time and space. Okay, give me a perception check. Okay. And give me an arcana check, because I don't know how well Aurelia knows, like well, how much information Aurelia knows about magical stuff in general. I don't think your background really gives you anything too major, so just give me a basic arcana check. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm using the first row. Okay. Well, aside from, like, you know some of these adventurers, they have, like, magical equipment, armor, weapons, and such, and they glow like normal. When you look around, you see a, a broken mirror, and when you see a reflection, there is a very, very dark glow around you. In fact, your, your eyes, like, are a different color. They're, like, a very, very dark 
red. And the whiteness around your eyes are completely black. Um, uh, I fall back with my hands towards my, uh, my face. When you fall back, let me end this. You're back in the hallway. You're a child again, and the dark, shadowy creatures looming over you. I'm trying my best to see if I can get away. Okay. okay. Um, there's no check for this. I'm going to railroad you here. Um, when you try to scurry away, the creature reaches down, and you can feel its fingers seep into your flesh. You try to scream, but no noise comes out as you feel this creature kind of crawling into your skin. Oh. You try to, to like shut your eyes, and when you do, and snap them open again, you're back in the goat hall. It is now completely destroyed and wrecked. There's fire. Your guildmates are laying dead. In fact, Kragmar is um, he's losing an, he's missing an arm. And you have a blade. You are sticking a blade into his chest. Like you're pinning him against the wall. He still seems to be like singing like nothing is happening. But it looks like that you... Well, that you're attempting to kill him. I quickly let go of the knife um, uh, shaking in fear give me another perception check okay, okay you're shaking in fear when you look down at your hands uh, your hands appear to be clawed as if like uh, your fingertips have been dis extended and claws are ripping through the flesh when you like you feel around your body and you can feel horns popping out of your skull you look out in the distance and then one of the destroyed destroyed walls into the city outside of the guild hall you see a two-headed figure looming in the distance you recognize this as the demigorgon as he stomps through the city destroying everything you look back at the broken mirror and you can see that your face has become a little bit more demonic, as if something inside you has finally freed itself. I will uh, attempt to leave the guild hall uh, while trying to suppress whatever's uh, trying to escape. When you run out of the guild hall, your eyes snap open and you're back in the underdark. But since you don't have any type of dark vision, it is just completely black. We're going to pause right there. Crunk, going to you. Hmm? It's your turn. Yeah. All right. You just saved Xmas. You're fading back into oh, the not... underdark. Oh, shit. Um, everything just kind of like fades away and then you're in your workshop you are tinkering on your own mechanical pet oh uh, did you just drop out of uh, row 20 oh shit I closed the wrong thing okay. it's alright you, you don't need it right now unless you want it to row um, you're tinkering on your mechanical pet uh, you haven't given it a name yeah. yet like and your workshop it has a has an open wall. You look around in your little conclave and you see warforges all around, uh, tempering blades and are practicing their skills. And in the short distance, like you're not too far off from an arena where they test their own combat abilities. Hmm. Now your pet. I know originally it was like it was like a deer, and then you created it into a badger. 
in your mind, was there any other form you wanted it to have? Like originally, before it became a deer and then a badger? No, not really. I always had a deer in the beginning in my head. Okay. Well, the, mecha the mechanical pet is uh, still like not completely formed, but you know it has a antlers, deer head. You you do recognize this as like a memory you had, hmm. but it feels it feels like you're reliving it. Hmm. Déjà vu. All right. Uh, unless there's something you want to do, I'm going to continue. No, in my mind, I'm literally just reliving the past, so carry on. Okay. You do have control of yourself, just so you know. Um, okay. As you're working on the... Like, there's this, this, this one part that you just can't figure out, and you've been spending hours and hours on this, and you just can't get it to work. Uh, coming up from behind you, you, you just hear... A scoff and <clears throat> hold up, I gotta try to remember what the voice this was. It, is it, is this gonna be a familiar voice? Oh, I'm looking forward to it, this. It is a familiar voice. Uh, uh, yeah. Um God damn it, you you bucket of bolts, you still can't figure this out. Move aside <laughs> and I got this. Oh no, not you. Um <laughs> you, you just kinda like shoved aside as this a female dwarf pushes you to the side. She does have a collar around her neck. And she takes the tools from your hands and begins working on the mechanical creature. It's like, I've seen you try to do this for hours on end. It's just mind-bogglingly as how you can't figure this out yet. I love this voice. You recognize People normally are a little bit more polite when they're trying to offer help. Uh, this dwarf's name is Cromella Rockdon. Fucking Cromella. She has been... um. Your designated slave for about a month now, who was captured by the other, by the Warforged Conclave, along with many other slaves. And she is one of the few who have not been put into the arena yet for combat. Uh, you do know that typically they, the, this Conclave would capture people out in the wild, bring them back for either labor or to test their own combat skills and kill them in the arena. Mm-hmm. Camilla continues to work on it, and when you when you see what she's doing, is it just kind of dawns you just how like one of those really obvious things you should have known, but you just were, kind of were overlooking because you're overthinking it. And she fixes it, and the mechanical creature begins to move. Hmm. Even Mad well, even my daughter could figure I'm out something like this. And you... I was just about to say thank you for the help, but never mind. <laughs> Douchebag. <laughs> well, you could thank me for the lesson. Jeez. Thought you would have known better. I was about to, but then those comments came about, and suddenly I, I just the feeling went away. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I hurt your feelings now? I, I get you a band aid, uh, but I don't think it'll work. Oh, oh cry me a rev and try it off with those beards of yours. Fucking hell. <laughs> I love every second of this. Yeah. Okay, give me a perception check, Frankie. Oh, there. Come on. Come on, give me... Uh, perception... Perception... Okay. Um, oh, there. No, I, for all these, like, I'm giving you guys advantage. Okay. Okay, you, you hear, like, uh, bells outside, and you recognize this bell as, like, the, one of the patrols have captured more slaves. And more, like, this combination of dwarves, humans, half-elves, um, even drow, are being dragged, uh, dragged along in a line through uh, the conclave. And some of the warforges are kind of cheering, you know, like, more meat for the grinder. Yeah, kind of thing. And, and Camilla just kind of like this... Kind of shakes her head and looks away. Somebody you know in there? No. no. Do, 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 do I have to feel disgusted by knowing somebody there? No. I don't know. It can be a small world out there. We know. I mean, you keep talking about 
how like the flesh is weak and stuff and you keep capturing people for this you just don't know that you're the ones with the real collar on your neck you just cannot see that the mechanism will live forever well i see perfectly Fish. fine that mechanism on that table wouldn't even be working right now if it wasn't for the flesh right here. The mechanisms out there, only reason they're around is because of those flesh people. And yet, those flesh people shunned us after they had no use for us. Turned us away, <laughs> called us abominations, hunted us. And now we're doing the same. Why are we different? I don't... I never said you'd ever, ever any different. My entire point is, I don't know what your story is, but I hear that story all around, everywhere. The difference sort of about the difference between you and me, with the Rockdown Clan, and you do notice, like, um, on her shoulder, like she does have a tattooed symbol. Uh, in fact, give me a history check. Every time I just close that fire page, you ask me to roll something. Just minimize uh, it. Don't close it. You I know don't you, see minimize button. Uh, double click on the top, and it'll just minimize it. Huh? Yeah, I, I never do that oh. until recently too. Oh, that's why I'm not even accidentally doing. Oh, <laughs> that makes <laughs> sense. Hey, we learn something new every day. <laughs> I thought you were just fucking something off. Oh, entry. If you didn't know, there's an actual praise him command. I don't know if you knew that. If you just put an exclamation point instead of the dash. Oh, okay. Yeah, praise I forgot him. what it was. Praise him. Praise him. Okay. Um, okay, you do recognize the symbol on his shoulder. It's the Rockdown Clan, which is um, not an incredibly large uh, clan of dwarves, but like um, they are considered like defenders of one of the dwarven kingdoms. Uh, crap, what was the name of it? It wasn't uh, Gontoleg. Um, well, we're just going to see one of the Dwarven Kingdoms. This is actually one of my uh, homebrewed ones. And um, uh, where was it? I'm sorry, I kind of lost my place as to what she was saying. Okay. She says like, you do not realize by just chaining yourself down like this, you're just going to be stuck in monotony and then ultimately lose. That may be. But at least I know I have a place in this community. Out there, I'm just a bunch of scrap. You think you're any different here? I see the way that you guys treat each other. You're just another just tool. For what is he? What was that blasted beam again? The blades? The Lord of Lich, you mean? Just another tool in his arsenal. At least he brought us together when everybody was hunting us. He gave us a home, a place to call ours. He's I using you just like any other dictator. Rather dictator. Than being hunted by fleshlings that will just tear me apart for scrap. For little bits. Just sell out soul gems. Rather living on our tyranny. Than being hunted on a, for a wild beast. Sounds like you had a rough one. But you ain't the only ones. Look at them out there. What did they do? Were they hunting you? The ancestors might. The ancestors might. There's an old saying in my clan. Never blame the child for the for the sins of the parent. I had another dwarf here that had a similar saying. At the similar kind of the two if you had. Wait, say that one more time, I didn't hear that. Yeah. I had another dwarf that worked for me. I had a similar thing. Also, similar to two as yours. Only he was more grumpier than you. Twice. Sometimes I've even months with only getting a grunt out of him. Nothing else. 
As you finish saying that, that sentence, Cranky, you find yourself marching on the battlefield. You are shoulder to shoulder with your other warforges. They all appear to have... They look like collars around their necks, but they seem semi-transparent. Behind you, being uh, lifted on a dais, is the Lord of Blades. And he's commanding you to... Well, the, the entire um, battalion you're a part of to begin to like ransack villages in front of you. Mm -hmm. It's not a city. It's uh, just a simple farming uh, community. Mm -hmm. So it's up to you on what you do here. Maybe you wanted to charge in. I'm charging in. Okay. You charge in. Um, they don't put up much of a fight. Most of them are running away. But you do ever so, like every once in a while, you feel a tug around your neck. As if you have a leash around you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you get, like when most of the farmers and villagers and peasants, like escape, well, they get to the outside of the village, they all suddenly stop. And they turn around. And now their faces are no longer like what they were before, like halflings, the humans, the elves. Uh, they appear to be twisted. And they pick up whatever uh, utensils they had on hand, like pitchforks, rakes, and they begin to charge your lines. Mm -hmm. What do you attempt to do? Slash full. Okay, as you bring down your, your weapon onto one of these beans, you're back in your workshop again, hammering down on some more equipment on your workbench. What's that? Still working on your little animal pet. Notice that Cormella's is not there. You get to do. You get to decide what you do. Can I maybe do like an investigation check that for signs where she is? Uh, yes. Give me an investigation check. Oh damn! Double crit. Holy shit! Oh, haven't seen a double crit since Kyle got one shotted. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. You look around and you you look at the in the area where you are keeping her, and there seems to have been a, a struggle here, and she was taken against her will from uh, this one room. Um, the signs like it leads out from your workshop, and you could tell with crit that she's been taken to the arena. You're not sure how long ago this was. You're it seems that you were that you might have been away when this happened. I go to the arena. And I ask around if uh, somebody took her. Uh, high or low? Hi. Okay. Alright, you're not get, able to get any information, but you do find out that um, several of the slaves have been put in the arena for combat. Um, today is the day that you sacrifice for the Lord of Blades by showing off your strength and killing this any flesh creature um you see in the arena uh cormella has this very crude hammer it's like the slaves here are not given like very fine weapons it's just whatever is laying around mm -hmm. there are a couple of uh damaged warforges on the floor but she seems to be very battered and hurt as a, a third warforge appears to do combat with her mm -hmm. Okay. Um, is there anything you want to do or you want me to continue? Um, I scream for the warforge to stop and I jump into the arena. Hmm. Okay, go ahead and uh, give me a persuasion check. Sorry, what I just I was blowing my nose. 
Yeah. Oh, give me a persuasion check. Persuasion. Fuck. Okay. Um, the Warforge ignores you and charges at Cromel, who also charges at him. Um, several Warforges around you in the audience actually begin to boo you. Uh, uh, you could hear like uh, some people saying like, e either fight or get out of there. So others call you a weakling or a flesh sympathizer or a meatbag sympathizer. I don't know what would be a good term for this. Flesh lover. You flesh lover. That that sounds dirty. Sorry. Mm. Well, they we don't have a concept of dirty, so. No, I, well, I, I would I would assume that uh, Warforges they will try to keep themselves neat so their body, like their mechanisms, would um, function right. Yeah. Like well, you know, I guess this depends on the Warforge. Um. The ba the battle doesn't take long. Uh, Cromella, she is that's too tired from the previous fights, and the other Warforge uh, stabs a spear uh, through her chest. She still gets a good hit on his head with the hammer, but regardless of what she does, she's done for. She's not dead yet, but she is going to die. I run towards her. Um, the other Warforge that and Pelder, he's a bit shocked that you were even there. Like he didn't even notice you when you jumped down. Um, I pushed the other uh, Warforge out of the way if he's in my way. Okay. Um, he's too surprised to really uh to. To, to prevent that, so you push him like he just stumbles a little bit, but he doesn't fall down. Um, Carmella just kind of looks up at you and she reaches up and grabs whatever you consider a collarbone up there. And she just kind of whispers, like, like, You're more than a tool, you need to realize that. And that's the last word she says before she goes, Wait, did my stream software just die? Hold up, I gotta restart the stream. Yes, <laughs> the stream crashed. Uh, the, the stream did crash. Even just streaming crashes, did you really... No, no, no I, th I think this was an internet connection thing. I think my connection had a hiccup. Huh. Okay. So I'm trying to start up the stream again. Uh, okay, it's gonna take a few seconds. Let's see if the life jumps back up. I see. Man, I wonder how much we lost. <laughs> 